Well, a very good afternoon to you, Diablo, and to your viewers. Yes, um, as we are coming to you from the M41 leading to the M4, you can see on your screens right now that clean up operations are underway. Uh, several tow trucking companies have been brought in to clear some of the vehicles affected. Now, initially reports were that uh, over 52 or just 52 vehicles were involved. Police service is however saying that it is around about 45 vehicles most of the vehicles uh, had fender benders those that weren't really serious but 45 vehicles um, were on the scene and they sustained really really bad um, you know they, they sustained really really bad um, well, in a bad condition um, and as you can see on your screen some of the tow trucking companies have been brought in to clear some of these vehicles the road is still closed here on the m41 and we've seen traffic being di diverted on the opposite end of the road so they're trying to clear this road as fast as possible this accident happened at eight o'clock this morning and it's a few hours late now so police services are trying to move um, swiftly quickly to try and open up this road you can see some of them are to come through those that are involved in this process and also to clear the rubble on the road. We've been speaking to those that were involved in this collision throughout the course of the morning. Many, many are still in shock. Many are still standing around looking at their cars. I spoke to a gentleman who said, you know, Jade, I had just paid off my Golf GTI. What do I do now? My car is a write-off. Um, and some of the people are still saying that, you know, they're still shocked. Most of them have been taken to hospital as reported earlier on there are 16 serious injuries two critical that also being one pregnant woman that was airlifted to hospital and 45 vehicles that sustained really serious um, body infrastructure as you can see on your screens several other cars minor fender benders they happen to leave the scene the truck driver involved in this horrendous crash is said to have fled the scene by police. We did speak to Metro Superintendent Boise, who has confirmed, Boise Zungu, who has confirmed that that driver has fled the scene. So we are here just observing that, you know, the, the vehicles are being moved by tow trucking companies, speaking to some of those that have been here since the morning. I'm gonna see if I can't try and squeeze in a few more of those individuals who are involved in this particular crash of spook and just walk with me. Bear with us, signal is also not great um, in this particular area. There's a lot of cell phone coverage. I imagine people are trying to reach out to their loved ones. Let's just see if we can't speak to this these two ladies they've been here throughout the course of the morning good afternoon ladies you are live on SABC news I spoke to you off air earlier on and you know you've been here since the morning if you can just detail what you saw this morning well actually we were on the, in the BRV and I didn't see anything because the van was on top of me but uh, I managed to come out safely from the driver's side my sister and I were safe uh, we was no injuries but it's been quite traumatic and quite shocking. Um, it's the first time I've experienced something like this. It's, uh, I, God has saved us because, as I said, the van was on top of our vehicle and uh, I'm fine. Many were calling it really a miracle that this carnage it a, happened. It is a miracle. Um, as I said, it was only God has saved us today. You visibly emotional, so I'll leave it at that. One of the ladies is talking about the ordeal and what she went through. I just want to ask Buddha to show you what she's talking about. Her vehicle was underneath this bucky that collided with her. The truck drove right into multiple vehicles. Several of them tried to swerve, hitting the barrier. Um, and you know what, like she says, it really is a miracle that there has not been one fatality, Diablo, not one. And this, this is one of the worst accidents that I have certainly covered. This entire road was strong with cars, many of them all on top of each other. How some of these survivors climbed out, it's, it's, it's re we really don't know. Um, it's, it's absolutely shocking what happened on this particular stretch. And many people were coming out of their vehicles and trying to help as well where they can. We spoke to, to some of the people that survived this, this accident, saying that they were also helping pull people out physically from the vehicles that were involved. But this this is what's currently happening. Cleanup operations are underway. They're trying to remove as much rubble from the road. Some people are also assisting where they can um, and also clear these vehicles so that they can open up the M41 Diablo.
Jade, while I still have you on the line, do you have a little bit more information on the company that this truck belongs to? Because as I can uh, imagine that they will have to take responsibility, the company will have to take responsibility, particularly because now the driver has fled. And I mean, if it was a mistake, why would one flee, for instance? Uh, do you have any information on that for us? You know, Diablo, it's actually a pity we can't show you that truck from where we are. It's 500 meters down this road. Um, we, we can't unfortunately tell you who is the owner of that particular truck. When we did go to the site, the truck toppled over, so there is no signage on the actual uh, vehicle. I don't know if we can pull up those vehicles on your screen. So we can't actually see the name of that particular truck. They were also talking to some of the bystanders that were there, asking them, did they see anyone jumping out of the vehicle? Because there were reports from police that the, the truck driver had fled they are looking for that truck driver so if you can see on your screens right now uh, you know we can't really see that signage I'm gonna ask Buddhists to swing this camera around and show you that truck actually plowed just further down the road and if you know M41 leading into M4 there's actually a bottleneck at the bottom of this particular road so had that truck not gone into the bushes there would have been a lot more injuries and possibly more fatalities as it would continue to plow into uncommon traffic as well so we do know the truck veered off the road plowing into the bushes after hitting a taxi Diablo